it didn't even attempt to, uh, to do the text. I don't know, man. I don't know, I don't know. These things are just... There's text. I don't know. Why well, it's not... I don't know. You know, I've had several people express interest in these targets. You know, the idea with this was that you would write your name and the date and then, you know, like I'm going to use this next for the Crossman. So I'd write Crossman 1077, you know, whatever. And I'd shoot my groups and then, then I'd hang it on the wall somewhere. Is it just a keepsake, you know? Maybe it's the first group I shot with a, a particular rifle. But, you know, for myself, these would be okay, but... I have no idea. It's certainly not drawn this way. And I just sat and tweaked. I went through the whole thing of tweaking the potentiometers and all that. And, uh, you know, got them set halfway between low voltage and, you know, high, higher voltage. I got this tape on here to block out the LEDs because they're freaking rise the sun. But, um, I don't know. These little machines, I don't know. I've spent a lot of time on 3D printers and CNC machines, you know, in the $1,000 range, and they just are frustrating, I'll tell you. You know, it's fun, but after you've put so many, you know, hundreds of hours into building these things and tweaking them and trying to make them work and they still don't perform, you just, you just wonder. <laughs> so if anybody's got any ideas on this uh, I did order a better voltage meter this one's really a heavier duty you know made for high end or higher voltages it won't go down to um, where I need it to do uh, I think it will yeah but anyway so I've ordered a smaller voltage meter and maybe maybe I can check the the voltages the, uh, there on the G-Shield and see what's going on, but I don't know. Very frustrating, guys. 